What up guys, it's Tops, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to get a Wii U Pro Controller hooked up with your Mac so you could use it on emulators. So, I have my Pro Controller right here in my hands right now. And I am going to first tell you what you need to download. It's an application called WJoy. I'll put a link in the description for you to download it. And then... Once you get that started, uh, well, pause it now, of course, so you can download it. And then, once you download this and have it set up, click the play button again. Okay. So now you have it downloaded. So you want to go to it and make sure auto start is checked, but one button click connection cannot be checked. Do not check that. Just check auto start. Then click begin discovery. Go get your Wii U Pro controller and hold down the sync button on the back of it the red one not it has to be the sync button for it to work and now as you see the Wii remote is connected it views it as a Wii remote I'm not really sure exactly why it does that and now I'm just gonna go um, and show you a few applications well emulators that you can use it with the first one I'm gonna be showing you is 64 it's relatively easy the other ones are too um, so I'm gonna go here Configure controllers, you'll just scroll down here until you see Wiimote there. And you'll go to that one and click configure. And for each button, you'll just click. And then, um, let's see, I want the Z button. Well, you click which button you want. See, you can change it too. Like, I'll show you there. Look, I just changed it. Then I changed it back. So, you could change all those things like that. Just click whichever one you want to change. And if you want to use a control stick, just uh, choose which move the control stick in that direction and make sure you're accurate though so it doesn't get off during the game and now I'm gonna go to um, let's see whoa applications uh, let's go to dolphin now this is gonna be used as a GameCube pad not the Wii remote there might be a way to get this working as a Wii remote but it's kind of weird because we remotes like motion controls and stuff. So I'm going to show you. You just click on whichever button you want. And don't click on two at once. Just click on whichever one. And you hit that button on your control stick. I mean on your uh, controller. And it changes to that button. Then with the control sticks it's the same thing. You click on it. You know you move it in that direction. And that's how you program that. So let's go OK. Um, now the final emulator I'm going to be showing you is SNES 9X which I believe I have with the rest of them right here in my applications I'm hoping I do um, oh there it is okay and now I'm just gonna wait for it to load and configure controllers now this one's really simple and you're gonna wanna use the D-pad for the directions not the control stick or else it won't work right well, it will work, but it'll act all weird. You have to, like, keep tapping it every time you want to, like, use it. So, for just tap on a button, and then press that button on your controller. And whichever button you press, that's the one that corresponds with it. You don't even need to switch it up with the controller. Just make sure you're doing it on the player one uh, controller, or else it will only work for the other players. Yes, you can have more controllers hooked up to this, and just assign those as different players. It will work. Alright guys, so that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, I showed you with those three emulators how to use the Pro Controller. With all others, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, that's pretty much all I got for today's video. I hope this helped you a lot. And you can now play your emulators with the Wii U Pro Controller. Yay! In my opinion, this controller is a very good controller. Um, so, I hope you'll enjoy that. And that's pretty much it. If you want to check out some of my Let's Plays, I have one of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. And I've been doing some Super Mario 64 stuff recently. So if you want to go check out those, why don't you just click on my channel. Um, and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, this is Tops, and I'm out.